are concerned about dry fasting, like how are you not having water? And so that's a prescription that's um, given to not just Muslims, but uh, many other faiths that also practice dry fasting. And so the thing that you do not need to worry so much about in terms of dehydration is that our bodies are so intelligent and they can actually create their own, our bodies can create its own water. Fascinating. So I'm going to go into this part a little bit more, but autophagy is basically when our body breaks down old cell parts and, and um, it's kind of like a cleanup system for the body. So our body will actually go in and say, okay, what cells do we not need <laughs> right now? Let's break them apart and release the water from the cells. So that's one way. Another way is that when you start to go into breaking down fatty acids, our fatty acids are made up of basically, well, a part of it is carbon attached to hydrogen. So some of these hydrogen bonds will break off. You, we breathe in oxygen from the air, but there's also an OH um, attachment. And so the hydrogen and the oxygen will combine and you'll have H2O. So our body can, our body is very smart. Our body knows how to survive. We just don't want to put too much of a burden on the body where you're going for days without water. That's not good. <laughs> so, but in the meantime, our body will go through a little bit of a stress. So stress, when we hear the word stress, right, we think, we think that's something bad. Yes, chronic stress over a long period of time that's not managed properly is detrimental to our health. But having a l little bouts of stress every now and then is actually a good thing. There is a scientific term, um, it's called hormesis. Hormesis is basically a state where your body is going through a challenge. And what happens after that is that your, when your body overcomes that challenge in rest and recovery, you become stronger. So what's an example of of hormesis that you can relate to day to day, exercise, right? So when you go to the gym, you work out, it's not, probably not the most pleasant experience, <laughs> but you, um, you know, you work, you work hard, and then you rest, and then you notice, you reap the benefits. You notice that the next time you work out, you can lift heavier, you can go a little bit longer with your endurance, all of that. So the same thing with our body. When we expose our bodies to, um, extreme levels of cold or hot sauna therapy. Those things are actually good stressors for the body in short bouts, making sure that you have time for recovery. So fasting is actually a type of, um, of, of a stress, a hormesis, <laughs> where basically you are stressing your body a little bit by depriving the body of nutrients so that the body could actually figure, figure out and wake up other pathways for survival. And then we have our rest and recovery period after we break our fast, which is why the point of breaking the fast is so important. So it's not just that period where you're not eating or drinking the hard part. The important part is how are we breaking our fast? Another thing about dry fasting, there is a doctor, a Russian doctor who did extensive research on dry fasting. His name is Dr. Filanov. And he actually um, said that, that dry fasting is three times more effective than water fasting. And I think it has to do with that heightened stress response where your body is going in, breaking down cells a little bit at a higher rate than it would with, with wet fasting, with, with water fasting, because it needs that water. So pretty cool. There is wisdom to, um, to dry fasting, so don't, don't worry about the not having water part. Now, I don't want people to be uncomfortable and de feeling dehydrated. One of the things that happens when people feel like I'm dehydrated is they get headaches and um, they feel irritable and they you know, just feel lack of energy. That is often a sign of an electrolyte imbalance, which is a little bit different. Of course, we can get an electrolyte imbalance from dehydration, so they do, they do go hand in hand, but I'll address how to tackle hydration.